Hello and welcome to the weekend, kindly subscribe and give this video a like thanks. Putin's attack of Ukraine hasn't worked out positively for him up until this point, and it has made new issues for his long-term admirer Donald Trump. The previous US president could constantly depend on his base to stay steadfast, yet his most grounded allies have not obliged his calling Putin's animosity a demonstration of virtuoso, contended USA Today reporter Austin Serrett. As the previous president saw it, essentially nothing remained to be denounced with regards to the unfurling demonstration of animosity in Europe, yet much to appreciate, Serrett compassed. There was, in any case, a reaction to Trump's full-throated hug of Russia's tyrant-chief. That reaction flags an adjustment of mentalities toward Russia even among Trump's base, and it foretells a recalibration of the discussion about majority rules system and tyranny in the United States and abroad. Shockingly, a significant number of Trump's typical sidekicks didn't join his recognition of Putin. House minority pioneer Kevin McCarthy censured the intrusion as foolish and evil, and even Fox News have Tucker Carlson shifted his perspective and considered the conflict a misfortune. Where Carlson goes Trump can't be a long ways behind, Sarah compassed. So it was not shocking that in his Saturday discourse to the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, Trump managed his sales a little. He actually demanded that Putin was shrewd while attempting to stick the fault for what the Russian chief did on the Biden organization. Surveys show that a huge and bipartisan larger part of Americans favor rebuffing sanctions against Russia, and multiple quarters of the two Democrats and Republicans view the nation contrarily, and 40% view Russians as an foe. Putin's attack is a reminder for Americans who have become smug with regards to a majority rules system, Sarit stated, and it is a distinct admonition concerning what the world would resemble if the sort of smart savvy dictators Trump appreciates were to be in control and ready to do anything they desire. On the whole, what Putin has done in Ukraine places Trump in the sort of off-kilter political place that would require a virtuoso to effectively explore, he added. In the interim, the House Oversight Committee has asked the National Archives for more data about previous President Donald Trump's treatment of White House records. In a letter to National Archivist David Ferriero, the board's director, Carolyn Maloney, DNY, requested a scope of records, remembering data for what was found in 15 boxes acquired from Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Florida. Maloney additionally requested data on reports that the National Archives learned Trump had torn up and on any correspondence between the organization and him about the presidential record profoundly worried that previous President Trump might have abused the law through his deliberate endeavors to eliminate and obliterate records that have a place with the American public, Maloney wrote in the letter Thursday. Thanks for watching.